Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Akuji the Heartless. We were in Limbo last time around, I believe. Let me check my... No, we were in Enoch. Limbo was level 10. And now, we have a few more levels. There's Gehenna, which we'll be taking on in the next video. But here's Kaina. No one in the world is the uh, third one. Where is... There's Limbo. No, there's Enoch. Once again, I'm getting Lim Limbo and Enoch confused again, even though I got it all straightened out. Okay. Because I've never really explored any of these vestibules, so... You'll have to... Forgive me for not knowing where stuff is. Okay. I, I get the layout now. This one is a little more... It's not as much of a straight line as the other vestibules, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, Kaina, the Blade Temple. Balogun demands your loyalty to be set free. Cast the Flame Shroud to resist all peril. You're going to need your magic for this one. All right then, let's take a look around, and there's nothing here. So let's hit the switch, which is kind of easy to forget. These blades, even if they're not spinning, can still hurt you. So you want to be careful. Also, use L2 and the control pad to crouch and crawl. That way you can get that voodoo doll over there. And let's see. Well, we got these guys showing up again. We'll be seeing them in pretty good numbers. And we also have these little things here that can hold spiders if you're not fortunate enough. So we need to leap over here and then leap over here. That way we can avoid fall damage. We're going to have to do quite a bit of exploring to get that lowest stone. So we just need to get straight to work here. Destroy this. Destroy you. There should be another one here pretty soon. Yeah, for some reason, that one just spawns out of nowhere. And we got another switch. This one goes in and out. I believe that will do. I do want to break this, though. That will give me some Soul Seeker and some Voodoo Dolls. And we need to take care of this thing, too. There will be quite a few of these gas-spewing worms that we'll have to deal with. And we'll have to take them all down if we want to get anywhere. Speaking of which, you just spawn just out of nowhere. Let's not fall into that molten rock floor because that is hot and it hurts. And here, we need to go to these platforms for the first ancestor. And we're going to shoot this thing four times in case it approaches us, which it probably will. And if we can keep striking, it won't really be able to do anything to us. There should be another one. Let's use four of our homing weapons there. And I believe that's as close as they're going to get to me without actually attacking. Also, there are some platforms there. And for a minute, I thought another one spawned. Thankfully, no. That was not the case. Let's watch our shadow as we make our way back. That way, I don't get horribly burnt. And we need to jump up to here. Let's let this thing 
Ow. Let's let this thing lower a little bit. And let's get in front of this thing. Try to, to trap it in front of a wall. Or a ledge or something. There we go. We're able to take that thing down. That sorcerer, sorceress, she can shoot some homing fireballs at you, and they can hurt. So now that we got this and we got the little spider cocoon taken care of, we can push this, and that column we jumped on earlier, it breaks apart. That lets you go into that little air opening right there. So let's take the safe route and use the platforms that I saw earlier. Ow. Well, at least I landed on one of them. And I took care of all the enemies here, which is good. And I'm doing okay as far as health is concerned. Um, this thing. Want to wait for it to come right out. And then grab on the ledge. There is a little cocoon here. And we have Flame Shroud, which we will probably need. Okay. I thought that was like... That's just part of the floor. We may use, a, use it against these guys. We may not. We will have to use Flame Shroud on this floor to get two power-ups, though. Speaking of power-ups, jump over here. We'll get some Captivity Strike, too. We will be using Captivity Strike, hopefully, to get rid of multiple enemies at once. Oh, hi. You're here. I did not expect you. Not like you're difficult to deal with, though. And there should be a gas worm and some more fighters. The more blue guys with the skies, skiths, size. I can never remember what they are called. And you die. Okay. What? Really? You're here. And you hit the wall. I don't know why you did. I should really aim with this. I should state. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get Doom Blast. Doom Blast. And more Captivity Strike. Let's switch to Captivity Strike real quick. That way they'll be able we'll be able to take care of them. That'll make real quick work of them. And I know you're beating me up, but we're gonna find health soon. There is more of you? Well at least you stood still long enough for me to beat you down. Okay. Well, at least we can beat that thing up for more of the soul fragments. So we can start over with that. Now, I said we would find health soon. We will. It's right here. And you are also here for some reason. But you were easy to take care of anyway. And there's even more health right here in this little spider cocoon. I will definitely need it. Now... We're going to leap up some platforms, and you want to be careful, because that steam, yeah, you got those little things spitting out the steam again. Let's watch that right here. Hold ourselves up when we, if we need to. We're going to wait a little while. And there's not two, but three. There's three. And, well, that's one way to do it. I was trying to aim for the far wall, but you know what? That'll do it. Now, is there any? There is. I saw you, though. At least I didn't have to use Captivity Strike for him. And I probably won't have to use it for him, either. Can you hit the man, please? Thank you. 
I want to make sure I beat this guy down for what we're about to do. If you can't tell, that's an ancestor. Right there, where you can barely see it. Thankfully, getting to it is easy, even if it is easy to miss. Just jump right here, get all the voodoo dolls, and boom. You'll, you'll be able to get the second ancestor. This one can be easy to miss. You'll probably just be paying attention to the voodoo dolls. And now, we finally have our checkpoint. We want to get on this, duck down, make sure that thing goes over us, and then jump over here. Now we got this area. And I can beat this guy down because he's still on land. Neat. And I am going to use Doom Blast on this sorceress. Instant kill. There's an ancestor. If I can grab it, that would be great. And boom, there's the soul fragment piece I wanted. Now, yeah, I'm about to say, there should be another gas worm. What are you targeting? I should really, really be using targeting from here on in. Get over here. Well, at least I'm... Well, I thought it was ready you. Well, as long as I get rid of these guys, I shouldn't have too much of a problem. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this switch. And we break another column, which allows us to get around here. And now that we don't have any enemies to deal with, getting around will be a snap. Let's just watch our shadow, shall we? Ow. Okay. Hit this switch. Be ready to get up right here because that platform is going to move. We want to get on top of that blade and onto this platform. And I do want to break this with the uppercuts. The reason for that is, besides some voodoo dolls, you also get an Akuji mask. This will refill your health no matter how much you've lost. Just completely. And if you would not do that, that would be great. Do I have to use the... I guess I will. That'll make you less of a pain to deal with. Yeah, I was about to say, you should be here now. Yeah, I was definitely expecting a third one. And now we got a fourth one. Alrighty then. Will that be all? Will that be everything? What does that lead to? It leads to something? Huh. I never noticed that playing in the practice run. So apparently there was a little area that you can run around right there in the lava that just leads to nothing. That's pretty wild. And I just now noticed that platform showed up. We gotta avoid getting hit by a bunch of steam. And, yeah, confirming that I have three ancestors. If there's one thing I don't like about this level, is that if you mess up, you have to do quite a bit of backtracking, which I just do not like, and you only have, like, one checkpoint to work with. Thankfully, once you do hit that checkpoint, everything is a little better. And if the game would let me be able to see a little more, I would be a little gr more grateful. And what we need to do is duck the first blade, jump on the second, get on this platform, hit the switch, move to the left, move to the right, stay there, and boom, we are where we need to be. I am going to use Captivity Strike. Just so I don't lose a ton of health. I'm not sure. I don't think I got hit. 
by that second Reaper guy. So let's go ahead and get some more Doom Blast. I'm assuming that's a Doom Blast. And here we just need to be really careful. Think. If you know what you're doing, you can kind of stand between the blades a little bit. And there's some health in case you take a bunch of damage. Now, once you jump on this broken column piece, just jump straight up. You'll be doing a little bit of basically climbing a little do basically a little bit of monkey bar action is what I wanted to say and make sure that when you swing that as long as you can see a Kuji shadow right here where I'm standing you can just let go you can just press X once that happens and you're good now let's go down here this will break the window let's grab the Loa let's go down here I think we took a little bit of fall damage, but we're okay. Let's go in here. And by placing the lowest stone in the pedestal, we are now able to make our way up a little bit. Not exactly how I wanted to do that, but I'm okay with that. There is another mask here. I am going to save it in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Like, there should be no way I should be able to fail now. So now that we've hit this switch, where the sorcerer-like enemy was, we can make our way up these now extinguished torches. And I believe we can go all the way up. Ow. We can go down here now. I'm going to wait on the blade that moves up and down to come all the way down again. Reason being... Nice. I want to go over here and get the last ancestor. We are now 48 for 48. I couldn't be happier. Let's get up here. I said let's get up here. Yikes. Now, thankfully, you can stand between these blades. And you drank the dum dum juice. Why did you drink the dum dum juice? In case you had no idea what just happened, a reaper just went into the blade and died. That can happen. Let it happen. That way you don't have to fight that thing. And we have another extra. Oh, hi. I guess I might as well use... No. Yeah, sure. Set you on fire. I've only used it once anyway. And... Now we've taken care of the enemies, what do we do? Well, believe it or not, you can jump from platform to platform without the use of the... Little torches here. Which is good. And from here, you can just jump to the exit. There's nothing behind the portal. We do have all four of the ancestors... We have one more level to go. I can't believe we're nearing the end now. And I can't believe this gave me less of a problem than the practice runs did. Once you figure stuff out with levels in the Force Vestibule, they are far less frustrating. And there is the last level. Gehenna. Is quite possibly going to be the toughest one of all. And with any luck, I'll probably make it look as easy as I made the last level look. But that will have to wait until the next video. Join me next time where we take on the final normal level of the game Gehenna and then see what see what 
Baron Sumetti wants us to do then. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!